Today's video is on seed starting. So it's time to dig my grow room out of where it's been buried in the garage and get my seed started. All right, here's what we're working with. So we're gonna turn this into this. Okay, here's what I'm using to get my seed started this year. I got this at the local garden center. It's black gold all-purpose potting mix it has got a lot of good stuff in it I um, read the ingredients or she read some of the ingredients to me when she recommended it, it has like worm castings all kinds of good stuff in it I'm gonna use this tray here I'm gonna mix my potting mix make sure it's moist enough and then fill up these cells with the uh, with the potting mix and plant the seeds so okay let's here we go all right i was gonna put some water in this but this feels pretty moist already so what i gotta do is i just pile the soil on top of the blocks and then push down into each individual cell to get it packed down pretty pretty tight make sure there's no air bubbles down underneath there and just fill it in again and then just move it around to get everything filled up Okay, so here the cells are all filled, ready to go in and put some seeds in them. Okay, here's how I plant. So I put a little groove in the soil, and then I put the seeds in, and then I'll smooth the soil back over them with my pencil, and pat everything down, make sure it's nice and solid, and give it a spurt of water. And I also keep records of what row I planted everything in. So the first row is Anaheim Chili, second row is Mortgage Lifter Tomato, third row Cayenne, etc, etc, until I'm done with the whole flat. Here's my grow room set up. Here's the tray in place. And I'll show you underneath here. Here is my starting tray. I only have this one going because I have heat in this one got a little heat mat that's plugged in so that will be constantly on while the seeds are germinating because you really need that for pepper seeds and tomato seeds especially so that lays in the bottom of the seed starting tray and then the tray just slides into that then we have a cover for it and that cover stays on that helps keep the moisture in while the seedlings are sprouting as well I mean, as well, it's only going to be there until the seedlings are sprouted. So, I've got lights set up, and the lights are set up on a timer. I've also got a fan here that puts some air circulation on the seedlings, and that actually moves them and helps them to have a stronger stalks, too. I'll show you how I have my timer set up down here on the ground. There's my timer. I have it set on for 6.30 in the morning till 6.30 at night. Then I have a heater. I think I got this on sale at, I don't know, BJ's or somewhere like that. About this time of year is actually when they start going on sale. So it, it has settings here. You can set it for 65, 70, 75, 80, or 85, or maximum. So I have it set on 75 degrees. So that'll be an automatic thermostat. So that will stay continuously plugged in. So that's plugged into the continuous power supply. And then the timer, of course, works the lights. So the heating pad is also plugged in continuously. And the fan will probably be on the timer as well. I just closed this plastic over here. And I have bricks at the bottom to put on the plastic hold it in place. And then I have a tarp that I roll down, roll that down to cover over the plastic. So it's a pretty easy setup. It's worked pretty good. I think I've done it the last two years this way. So I'm going to put up here, I'm going to put a video that Google says would be the best one for you. One that you will enjoy. And over here I'll put a link to my most popular video playlist, which starts off with how to eat a peach which is sort of weird that that's my most popular video, but it is. <laughs> so anyways, 
I will see you again real soon. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day. I'll just leave it on for a few more seconds so you can choose what video you're going to watch next.